Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q1 of the weekly contest 404, Maximum Height of a Triangle. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. So this one, I mean, I think conceptually is not that difficult to understand, but it is uh, could be a tricky implementation problem. And it is something that you have to be, you know, just careful about. And of course, having said that, I did not. I had two wrong answers. And they're inexcusable. I could have written it like... I mean, the thing is, right, like, if you, just as a retrospective, like, I'd rather have written very ugly code and did not have two wrong answers than writing very clean code but did have two wrong answers, and basically that's what happened. I tried to um, prematurely write it in a clean way, but I had an off by one error. Um, and the other f thing is that it, it was just a little bit unlucky, and I'll show you why in a second, but I was a little bit unlucky in the sense that I had two off by one errors and they cancel each other out to be perfectly correct for the input, which is, you know, some days it is just sad. And then the second time I just kind of, I think sometimes you have to, that's why I always talk about controlling your emotions and stuff like that, is that um, I probably was like just rushing. I was like, oh man, Larry, you already got wrong answers. Just finish it and go. But instead I gave myself another wrong answer because I think the inputs was wrong for the example. So it, it didn't even like, yeah, it didn't even work for the example. So it was just a free wrong answer, free five minutes penalty. So uh, anyway, that said, I'm going to show you two ways of doing it. One one is just how I kind of do this one, but uh, um, but yeah. Uh, so the way that I first did it is recursive. To, so the observation about the implement, I mean, I think the idea is pretty straightforward, so hopefully I don't need to explain it. If I'm, I'm incorrect, let me know in the comments. But the idea here is that um, uh, I just have a helper function. The first row is going to be either green, or sorry, green. Well, I'm really wrong on that one. Uh, is either blue or red. And basically, this is the idea that I have is that, okay, assume that the next A is going to be the next color that we use, B is the second color, and current is the level, then this is basically the recurrence, right? And you just do it for both color going first. So yeah, so A is the next color to be used, B is the um, next next color to be used, and current is the current level, which is also the, the requirement for this row, right? So that's basically the idea, so I don't know. I. I unfortunately, I mean, hopefully this makes sense, just recursion, right? So if we have enough, then we we go to it, um, and then we just increase the level, and we move B up. Uh, and then we, yeah, otherwise we return zero because this, then we're done. Uh, and you also increase one for the level. And this one, I suppose. But uh, but yeah. Um, so the, my, my wrong answer is because I had this, and I had these as zeros, because... It, I guess recursion is always natural to think of zeros and zero indexing, but I didn't. I just didn't think about it honestly. I, I was rushing it, and I didn't think about the edge cases, and this is what happened. Um, but yeah, but if, if I could do it again, I was trying to do something like this. Uh, oops, not this one. Uh, hmm. I was trying to do something like this during the contest, but I just. Hmm. Uh, I I rewrote it uh, with a while loop. Uh, I was trying to do something like this during the contest, but I think I just confused myself. But it is just having a while loop. Uh, um, I think the the missing part that I have is just missing this particular part, and that is why. Uh, like I, I was trying to figure out how to do the swap, but my head was just not warmed up for this problem because it is the first problem of the contest. Uh, but yeah, basically, for this is the current level. If we can add to the next level, which has a um, requirement of current plus one, we subtract it. Um, we increment and then we swapped A as the next thing to be used. I was thinking of using someone like Q, and I, but I was like, ah, you don't. Why are you using a Q? But uh, looking back, I wish I did it with a Q because not not this way, but like versus here and getting two wrong answers because at least I wouldn't. You know, the code, like I said, would have been really ugly, but at least it would have been right. So I I don't know. I feel very dumbed uh, with this one. But anyway, um, that's pretty much all I have for this one. Uh, yeah, so what is the complexity of this, right? Um, the idea here is that um, keeping in mind that um, this grows uh, incrementally, but then you subtract it, right? So uh, 
So then now, if you kind of subtract one of the A's and the B's one at a time, it is going to take the square root of um, the square root of, of a big number uh, or square root of A, say. To, like, let's say we only have one color. Maybe that's easier to explain. Let's say we only have one color. Then if you kind of sum up the, the uh, height of the triangle, it is going to be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 dot dot dot. And it's going to be N squared to reach N. Uh, Oh, sorry. Uh, it's going to be, yeah. It's go it's going to sum to n square. So you, the biggest number is that um, it's going to go up to the square root of n for um, the color n, right? So that's basically the idea. Um, is that it runs in the square root of a or b time as the upper bound. You can play around with that idea, um, but yeah, um, that's all. And, and this is for both solutions because they're the same. Uh, like I said, I. Did not need to optimize this that much because red and blue is 100. But some days you're just a little bit off and this is one of those days. Um, that's all I have for uh, this one. Let me know what you think. And if you really want to, you can watch me struggle with this Q1 next. You know, it's uh, I think it's kind of rare for me to struggle on a Q1. So maybe it's worth a watch on, on faster speed or something like this. But uh, I don't know. I mean, I, it's up to you to figure out how do you want to do your time. But yeah, and you can watch me solve it next. Boop. Go, go, go. Double problem again? Is it a real double problem? Who knows? Two, one, two. Did I miss any base case? Uh, this is so easy to mess up. And also, server lagging a little bit. I thought it was just me, but um, it is clearly lagging a little bit. <gasps> I knew that I was. <gasps> uh, I knew. Uh, I, I was thinking about that, but then I, I just got distracted by the lag. Silly mistakes. Uh, okay, let's go. Uh, okay. Wow. Well, today is not a good time test. Am I doing something else weird? It's not zero. This is one. What am I doing? Two, four. And this is actually example one, I think. Yeah. So... I am just try I'm, I'm watching too much. Yeah. Uh, well, already not a good contest, but uh, I, I just watched. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.